Welcome to our video tutorial on creating a Google Scholar profile for faculty. This tutorial is designed for scholars or researchers who don't yet have a Google Scholar profile but would like to create one. The good news is you can create a profile in just a few minutes. If you already have a profile, navigate to scholar.google.com, click on My Profile in the upper left, log into your Georgia Southern account, and this will let you look at your profile. If you already have a profile and want some ideas for enhancing your online presence, skip to the Enhance Your Profile section near the end of this tutorial. So you might be wondering if you really need a profile. Here are some of the benefits. Google Scholar provides an easy way of collating your publications, presentations, or other works and citations to them so others can find them and find an accessible copy. More than that, if you create a Google Scholar profile, your works will appear higher in Google search results. But even if you don't have a well-established history of publications, that's no problem. You can create a profile manually entering work such as conference presentations or posters and your research interests in four easy steps. So let's get started. The first step is to go to Google Scholar at scholar.google.com. Click on the My Profile link in the upper left. If you don't have a profile yet, you'll be presented with this form where you can add your information. You want to be sure to indicate your name, your affiliation, your email, in, generally in this format. Uh, this is optional. Areas of interest in your research or teaching. And if you have a web page, if you have a selected works profile, you could use that URL. Or you could just enter the address for Georgia Southern for now. Then click Next. The next step is to select content to add to your profile. Google Scholar will provide citations to articles from its search results that it thinks may be yours based on your name. Don't worry if you don't recognize these matches. You may find that you have a lot of false drops which result from publications in Google's index that are by authors who just share your last name. Go ahead and import them or at least one of them. And then you can delete the ones that you don't want to claim as yours later on. Once you've done that, click in the arrow in the upper right to continue. Finally, you have some options to select article updates be sent to you and also the visibility of your profile. Google Scholar can automatically find your new articles and changes to existing ones and update your profile automatically or you can opt to receive an email with updates for your review. You can make your profile public, that's the default, or just uncheck the box if you want it to remain private and then click done. And that's really all there is to it. You created a basic profile. Now you can deselect articles you don't wish to claim as yours and you can enhance your profile in other ways. So here are some suggestions. You can edit your profile, clicking the pencil tool next to your name and add content such as keywords and a, a website URL if you haven't done that already or a link to your selected works page. Add a photo and an email address, those are optional. And then you can add publications or presentations manually. Even if you don't have publications to add, you can still add things like conference presentations and posters to your profile. Some other things that you could do to enhance your profile are to list collaborators or research partners who also have Google Scholar profiles, get suggestions of related articles, or search for authors and follow them for updates on their publications. That completes this tutorial on creating a Google Scholar profile. If you still have questions about this process or other online profiles, you can contact me at any time. My name is Ruth Baker. I am the scholarly communications librarian for the Georgia Southern University Libraries. I'm based in Zach Henderson Library. Here's my contact information. Or if you wish to schedule an appointment to, to talk about your online presence, I'm happy to do that. Here's a link to my, um, my appointment page. Thanks very much.